Hi, this is Philip Ador, founder of NCLEX RN45 Day Challenge. In this video, I'm going to be talking about tracheoesophageal fistula. A tracheoesophageal fistula is a birth defect in which the esophagus has an abnormal connection to the trachea. The esophagus is the tube that food passes through from the mouth to the stomach, and the trachea is the windpipe that air passes through from the mouth and nose to the lungs. The trachea forms during the sixth week of pregnancy. Here you can see the tube that will eventually form all the organs of the digestive system. The trachea and the lungs grow from the part of the digestive tube that will eventually become the esophagus. For unknown reasons, the esophagus and the trachea may grow and separate abnormally during this time. The esophagus may end in a blind pouch with missing gaps and be abnormally narrow. This absence of narrowing of natural body passageway is called atresia. The esophagus and the trachea may also have an abnormal connection called tracheoesophageal fistula. Here, we see the most common type of tracheoesophageal fistula in the newborn infant. The upper esophagus ends in a blind pouch and the lower esophagus connects to the trachea. This is a serious problem because the stomach contents can travel up to the esophagus and pass through the fistula into the trachea and into the lungs. The fistula can also cause difficulty breathing for the newborn since air can now bypass the lungs and enter the stomach. Before a tracheoesophageal fistula repair procedure, an intravenous line will be started. The baby may be given antibiotics through the IV to decrease the chance of infection. The baby will be given general anesthesia which will put the baby to a sleep the entire operation. A breathing tube will be inserted through the mouth and down the throat to help the baby breathe during the operation. The surgeon will make an incision in the baby's chest, usually on the right side. Through the incision, the surgeon will gently move the lungs aside to view the trachea and esophagus. After identifying the tracheoesophageal fistula, the surgeon will slowly close the fistula's connections to the trachea with sutures then cut the connections away from the trachea. The fistula's connection to the esophagus will also be cut and the fistula will be removed. Next, the surgeon will make an incision at the end of the upper esophagus to open it. Then the upper and lower esophagus will be connected with the sutures. Finally, the surgeon will insert a surgical drain into the chest and close the incision with the sutures. After the procedure, the baby will continue to use the breathing tube until they've healed enough to breathe on their own. The baby will be taken to the neonatal intensive care unit for monitoring. Pain medication will be given. The baby may continue to receive antibiotics through the IV. Babies are released from the hospitals when they are able to eat enough to maintain their weight, which may be after two weeks or longer.